Hey everyone, today we will look at the new BMW 2 Series Grand Coupe. This one has also the M Sport package. As you can see, it has a beautiful, more aggressive front bumper, 19 inch M Sport rims, beautiful side skirts and a beautiful rear bumper. We are in Rotterdam, the Netherlands. Don't forget to like. Yeah, probably getting it. Yeah. This car has the beautiful LED headlight system, the same as the One Series almost, and it has the newly shaped daytime running lights. It has also the automatic high beam and the corner light. The M Sport front bumper looks gorgeous. It has bigger air intake, LED fog lights as you can see. I turned them on. It looks beautiful combined with the LED headlights and the angel eye. It has also the one piece design kidney grill and the kidney grill opens and closes when the engine needs cold air. And this car has also the automatic braking system. So in the city, when you don't pay attention, this car can brake on its own. These rims are special for the M Sport package. And as you can see, it combines really well with the black and the chrome colors. The rims are 235, 35, 19 inch. It comes with Continental tires, the premium contact uh, six. It looks very sporty and dynamic. This car has also the blue M brake calipers which look fantastic and I love the M logos on the fenders on BMWs. This car is fully loaded, it has even the side assist, the blind spot assist, it has the keyless entry and keyless go function and the side profile looks like a mini 8 series Grand Coupe and I love it. It has also a panoramic sunroof now which you can tilt and slide backwards if you want. Nicely designed spoiler at the back, this is an option, I think it looks really good. And uh, because of the M-Sport package, this chrome bar is finished in a high gloss black color. This car has also the rear view camera. And look at the diffuser, beautiful, finished in a gray color. And one big exhaust is fitted on this car. It is the 218i with 140 horsepower, but there's also a 235X drive available and a 220 diesel. What I also really like on the rear bumper is the detail on the sides of this car. I think that makes it even uh, look more sporty and sleek. The rear tail lights have a beautiful design, very sporty. And we are now in the driver's seat of the all new BMW 2 Series Grand Coupe. As you can see it has the M Sport steering wheel. You can also buy it with the heated steering wheel. This car has it got it. It has extensions, it is thicker than normal and of course it has the cruise control settings on it. You can also buy it with the adaptive cruise control. Over here you have the sound settings and the media settings. You can also give it commands, voice commands. It is also available with the head-up display. And look at the digital screen with different modes. This is the Eco Pro. Comfort, Sport, it changes, it has the traffic sign recognition and this car has also the Harmon Cardon sound system, 464 watts, 16 speakers and look at the blind spot assist, I love the triangle that lights up for the blind spot system, this is dimming as well. Being an M Sport package you get the M steering wheel, you get the dark headliner and you can go for the M Sport seats which I will show. It has the nice iDrive system, it has the ambient lighting on the doors, on the rear doors and in the front. Over here you can see the 500 euro M Sport seats. These are manual but you can also buy them as a power adjustable seat. These parts are also adjustable. And look at the design, These, this is the Sensatec leather, but you can also buy it with the uh, Dakota leather. You can see the M colors on the seat belts, looks lovely. I love the design of the seats, it has the leg extensions, even the M colors over there on the carpets. Storage area, quite good. It has a charging point. Over here you have the mid console, just like the 3 series. Over here. You can turn off the ESP, parking sensor, start stop. The start button is over here of course. And these are the different modes. Auto hold, electronic can't break. And this is for the iDrive. You can also write the address down. This is the gear lever, down for drive, up for reverse and press this for park. 
and this car is also available with the gesture control just like the 7 series and look at the camera system the quality is just perfect unbelievable good over here you have the cup holders, a power outlet, USB input and you can also charge your phone over here over here you have the multimedia systems I love the button for the volume adjustment the climate control system, heated seats, three settings for that this is for the fan speed, this is for the temperature you can also synchronize that over here you have the nice navigation system works really good and this is the home page you can adjust the widgets it has the ambient lighting, you can adjust the brightness and these are the colors safety systems of course and look at the digital instrument cluster you can adjust the information in it media information fuel instant torque and power it has the automatic high beam you can turn it on with this button this for the trip computer over here you have the rain sensor now it's on you can adjust the intensity of the rain sensor I would go for the head-up display the storage areas are quite good over here unlock lock mirror adjustments the storage areas quite good over here another one this is for the light settings it is automatic of course and it has the dark headliner the dimming rearview mirror of course it has the SOS button I love the Antra seat headliner it goes all the way to the back and you can also open it goes on top of the rear section and this is for the wind noise to reduce it this is the microphone of course and this is the view from the back seat I think the dash looks great it is very spacious inside I love the M steering wheel and the M seats details, it's all about the details this is the knee space, I'm 1 meter and 83 there are two USB charging points there is even an armrest over here and look at the seat belts with the M colors of course the isofix seats in the back this is like this for the panoramic sunroof but over here you have the headspace and look at the panoramic sunroof looks brilliant as I said I'm 1 meter and 83 I'm sitting fine only my hair is slightly touching the roof because of my hairstyle but other than that it's good Now this car has a 1.5 liter 3 cylinder petrol engine, it produces 140 horsepower, 220 newton meters of torque, 0 to 62 in just 8.7 seconds and the top speed is 215 km per hour. 
The fuel economy is 5 liters per 100 kilometers and the car weighs around 1,300 kilograms. Now before the point of view test drive, I want to say something about the car. As you already know, this car is now a front wheel drive car, but you can also buy it with an X-Drive system. There are different models available. This is the 218i. You can also buy it as a M235 X-Drive petrol engine. And there's also a, a 220 diesel available. Because this car is a front wheel drive car, the uh, interior space has grown a lot. This is uh, very good for the passengers and the driver in my opinion. The point of view test drive of the BMW 218i Grand Coupe. What I really like about this car, the visibility is very good. Just look at the position of the mirrors. There are no blind spots. This is very small. It has the automatic parking, the rear driving assist. It remembers the last 50 meters and it can drive backwards automatically. That's also very nice. And I love the fact that this is the smallest sedan by BMW, but you can buy it with the gesture control, the head-up display, the blind spot assist. Everything is so nice and I love the 464 watt Harman Kardon sound system. The only thing I don't like is that this digital instrument cluster could be better in my opinion, but I'm getting used to it. You can see different settings on it, G-meter, media and so on. And the space in the interior is really good, a lot of knee space. Thanks to the front wheel drive system there is even more space in the interior now. And look at the design of the doors, look at the materials. High quality materials are used. This is soft, uh, this is Sensatec leather, this is soft plastic. The quality is really good. And I love the fact that this M steering wheel has the chrome details on it. And you can even buy it with the heated steering wheel. And this kind of a car has a huge panoramic sunroof, that's also really nice. And with the M Sport package you get the dark headliner and this is also, the sunshade is also uh, dark, in a darker color as you can see. Now this dial is now in sport mode, white and red colors are used, when you put it in comfort mode it turns orange and in the Eco Pro mode it turns blue. The fuel economy of this car is 5 liters per 100 kilometers. In the real world it's around the 6 liters, 6.5 liters per 100 kilometers. With my driving style it's 7 liters. Uh, for the test drive I'm uh, uh, flooring it sometimes. The sound insulation is really good. It's like a, uh, almost like a 5 series or a a 7 series, even though it's the smallest member of the BMW uh, sedan uh, family. It's almost the same. There's a little bit of wind noise because this is a 4 door coupe, but that's normal. It's uh, really good. Comparing to the rivals. The engine is a 140 horsepower, 220 newton meters of torque engine and when you put it in sport mode the transmission does everything you want from it it's not a fast car but you can overtake uh, someone without problems you can also buy it as a dual clutch transmission if you want the steering is phenomenal as we already on uh, as we already know of BMW uh, the steering uh, response is great. It does everything you want. It gives great feedback from the road. It is very dynamic. I love it. I love the fact that the infotainment, the iDrive system is now bigger. 
the pixels are better it's a faster system and it looks good it is almost like two screens now but I would go for the head-up display this uh, car hasn't got it but you can also uh, choose the head-up display if you want I really like that feature on BMWs and look at those seats I mean this is a 500 euro extra option but how it looks how it uh, supports you it's very good I would go for these seats there are different colors available around the 10 colors available two standard one ones and uh, seven or eight metallic ones and in total there are seven different rims available starting from uh, 18 I think up to 19 and I must say the suspension is still comfortable even though it's a M Sport package I really like uh, cars that are very good looking aggressive looking just like this car but still comfortable not that hard and this car is uh, just like that when you buy the standard 2 series it will be more comfortable than this uh, particular M Sport car but I prefer the looks more than the comfort how does it drive it's a front wheel drive car of course you can feel that rear wheel drive cars are more comfortable more uh, relaxing to drive it, it it gives you a more luxurious feel than a front wheel drive car but uh, this way you have m more interior space uh, it uses uh, less fuel and you can use the power all the time it is safer and it is cheaper to buy for the customer overall I'm really glad I would go for the 464 watt Harmon Cardon sound system if you love music go for that system because the sound quality is really good 16 speakers BMW uh, works with Harmon Cardon in this uh, uh, car and it sounds really good of course it is also available as a manual this car is a uh, automatic sport mode it doesn't feel like a 1.5 liter 3 cylinder it really goes especially in the sport plus mode and this car has the ambient lighting one of my favorite uh, features on a car on the front doors on the rear doors and on this part and it has a very nice clever design to it it looks very luxurious I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like subscribe and share this video thanks for watching